Now, before we say good night tonight and goodbye, over the weekend, we learned of an American music pioneer lost, and he was one of our region's own. Lou Reed, he founded the influential Velvet Underground, and there were too many songs to count. Well, tonight, we'll remember a legend and his long walk on the wild side. He only topped the charts once in his career. Walk on the Wild Side in 1973. But record sales were never really the point of Lou Reed. He was much more than that. A member of a small circle of rock musicians that other rock musicians recognized as changing the genre. In the 60s, it was as a songwriter and a singer for the Velvet Underground. Where he took rock to darker places than it had been before. Sunday morning, one of those songs that in its time was unlike anything ever heard. Reed, he was the son of an accountant in Brooklyn who started off thinking that he wanted to be a journalist or a filmmaker. He did a college stint as a radio DJ playing other people's music. When the blood comes down, With the 70s, Reed went solo. That's when Walk in the Wild Side came and travels that saw him playing before the late Pope John Paul II. Reed's health was a challenge in recent years. Rolling Stone reported a liver transplant. Reed didn't talk about any of that, not even on Twitter, where he posted up until the final day. It was just the music and nothing else. That is all the time that we have for tonight, but I want to thank everybody for not only joining us, but also a reminder, please join us tomorrow night at 6 o'clock for another edition of RFL and again, our special on Sandy one year later at 7 p.m. We'll see you tomorrow.